So in this video we're going to be continuing on with our web crawler. Um, so what we're also going to be doing is we're going to be making it smarter so that it can work with type or different types of links. Uh, for example, HTTPS links and HTTP links. So let's get started. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check does the link start with HTTP colon uh, forward slash forward slash. So the way we do that is we just say if sub str link zero. Uh, the reason we are saying link is because that's the string we want to provide the function with to. Uh, that's the string we want to provide the function with. Uh, then we want to uh, start from the beginning of the string, which is why we put a zero. We want to go till we see the seventh character, which is uh, why we put a seven in here. And then what I'm going to say is if that equals HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and you'll notice that this is seven characters, and that's why we start from zero to seven, because we want to get this part of the string. So what we say is if that is um, if there is a HTTP colon forward slash forward slash at the start of the string, we just say link equals link. We could we could actually just leave uh, the if statement blank, but I'm just going to write that so that we have something written into it. So basically, we're doing nothing to the string uh, of the link. Then what I'm going to say is else, and we're going to just copy this and paste it in here, and we just need to change this to oops. We want to say else if this is equal to HTTPS, and since there's an S, we need to add an extra character. Oops. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash is eight characters, so we need to get the first eight characters. And once again, if we see that, we just say link equals link because we don't want to do anything because that's a valid link that we can follow. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to copy this, and we're going to get links that start with two forward slashes. So we want to get the first two characters of the string. And I'll show you an example of a link that has uh, that starts with two backslashes as opposed to uh, the uh, URL scheme. So if you see here, I'm on the HiCode.org website and I'm on the view source of HiCode.org. And you can see here, this link goes to uh, a style sheet. And you can see it doesn't specify HTTP or HTTPS. It just has the two slashes. So uh, what that means is if I'm on HiCode.org, for example, and say for example I'm just like this, so if I put in HTTP, you'll see the HTTP will disappear because uh, by default Google Chrome just assumes that if there's nothing uh, before the URL, it's, it uses, oops, if there's nothing before the URL, it uses HTTP. So that means that that style sheet will be downloaded using HTTP as opposed to HTTPS. But if I uh, wrote HTTPS colon slash slash, you can see now we're using HTTPS on HiCo.org. And now that style sheet will be downloaded using HTTPS because I didn't specify a specific URL scheme. So we want to be able to look for links like that. Uh, that's why we've put it uh, in our web crawler. So if we see a link like that, what we want to do is we just want to uh, uh, strip the uh, beginning of the link. So we want to say sub str link zero or uh, two, which means we want to take the link and start from the second character. So we want to get rid of these first two characters. So uh, after this runs, we uh, take away these two slashes, and this is what we're left with. So this is what the link would look like after it went through that if statement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste another uh, one, and I'm just going to put in a hash here. And I'm going to get the first character, uh, and I'm going to strip the first character. Actually, wait, I'll say um, link equals uh, URL. So what this does is if we see a hash in a, in a URL, we're just going to give it the actual URL we're provided with the function. So in this case, if we saw bestbase.co um, hash something, it would just strip the hash, uh, everything after the hashtag, and give us uh, bestbase.co. And finally, we're going to copy this again, Oops. Uh, and we're going to check for uh, mail links. So we said mail to... So this is going to check for email addresses and we just need to get the first seven characters of this and we're just going to say link equals link and then what we're going to do is we're going to append uh, square brackets around the link just so that we can see that it's an uh, email address. So if we run this now and uh, we just refresh the page we get an error. Um, okay we had an extra curly bracket in. So if we run this now you can see here our mail to link got um, brackets put around it to show us that it's an email address. 
and everything else basically stayed the same because we're in, we haven't done anything with the rest of it yet. So what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to put another else clause in here and it's going to be this sort of catch-all clause. So if the link we provide doesn't um, fall into any of these if statements, it's going to just fall into this final else statement. So what we're saying here is if uh, sub str uh, link 0, 1 is equal to a slash, so we're getting links that start with a slash, then we'll say uh, link equals this URL dot uh, and then we're going to append a slash and then we'll say uh, link and we actually need to change this to a, a not equal to so therefore if there is no slash in it we just want to append the URL plus a slash uh, to the link so we get a full uh, URL and then we'll just say else link equals base URL dot link and the uh, dot operator in PHP just appends two strings together so I can append these two variables into one string using a dot in between them. So now we just need to finally put in the base URL variable which in this case we get by saying base URL equals and we're going to use a function in PHP uh, called parse URL and what we provide it with is the variable URL which in this case is the URL we provide to the function and uh, we write php underscore url underscore host. So let's refresh the page now. Okay, we have an error on line 33. So if we go down here, we see uh, we just get, need to get rid of that dollar sign. And if we load this now, you can see that everything automatically gets uh, the full URL appended onto it. So you can see here, what was originally just a slash is now bestspace.co forward slash and what was originally slash best deals is now bestspace.co forward slash best deals and so on and that's uh, how our crawler works. So we're slowly but surely checking each uh, link on the page and we're building up full URLs for each one and we'll be able to follow those URLs and crawl those pages and get their content and things like that. So that's it for this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time.